this, this idea that the government has no clear plan of funding, I suppose to, to one extent, it's understandable that they don't. We don't know which new technologies may come along in the next few decades. 2050 is still quite a long way away. We don't know exactly the field that we'll be playing in uh, by the time we get to the 2040s. Well, I, I think you've got that absolutely right, Tom. But we, we seem to be in a phase of trying to pick winners, uh, you know, heat pumps, battery vehicles. And as you say, the technology may be in a completely different place in a decade or two time. Uh, one of the very interesting things a colleague put to me was, you look at a photograph of, of any high street in, in, say, 1902, and then move 28 years on to 1930, it's a very different looking high street because of the technological changes across those 28 years. But uh, net zero 2050 is 28 years away from today. So government picking winners today I think is a mistake because technology will find a better way. But we, we, you know, we seem to be almost harking back to those old command economies that you've just been talking about, uh, where, oh, we will be doing this by then and, and we'll have you know, 10,000 tractors and 500,000 tonnes of grain. We used to laugh at those type of economies, but we seem to be doing that here and now today. Now, the Public Accounts Committee reports can be a little bit dry, a bit lengthy, and dare I say, a little bit dull. But this one was very punchy because it highlighted very clearly that the government really hasn't got a plan as to how we get to net zero at 2050. It doesn't know what it's going to cost, uh, whether uh, to the public purse in terms of, of what the government might may spend on this, uh, the infrastructure and all of that type of stuff that will be needed, or what it will cost you and I as personal taxpayers in our own domestic lives. So let me liken it, if I may, to being sort of transported to a new city. You're, you're, you land in the middle with no map, no GPS, and you're not allowed to ask anybody uh, for any directions. The chance of actually getting to where you want to go, I would say, are pretty slim. Mm. Uh, so you know, my view throughout this is the net zero plan has not been thought about. Uh, it's not been costed. We don't know how we're going to get there. But all the same, because of the legislation and this arbitrary date we've put in place, we shall get there no matter what the cost seems to be uh, the policy of government. It's not good enough. It needs to be better. And let's put this, uh, overlay it with the UK's CO2 output is 1% of global CO2, uh, where mm. China's mm. is close to 30. So let's just put that into context as what we're trying to achieve, while much of the world, frankly, is getting on with uh, creating its economies, getting cheaper energy, and all the rest of it.